absolutely nothing. Before that pointed at the, uh, the city in the background, we don't even have that right now. I have to warp out because there's no door. Uh, I mean, I have 366 for whatever that turns out to be for. Maybe these are coordinates for the maze. Because there's supposed to be a maze that has a... There's supposed to be a maze that has a tree inside of it that was somehow important to this, this prophet dude. And maybe he left clues throughout all of his places in case he ever forgot. And maybe those are like somehow the answer to how to solve the maze. I thought they were references to that book over there, but maybe not. Or maybe the ref maybe those quotes from the book are somehow the answer on how to solve the maze. I don't know. But either way, anytime I find one, I should really write it down. Just in case. I've kind of lost track of which ones I've been writing down and which ones I haven't. Just because I didn't have a payoff. Like, I- oh god. That was a little first person mistake. The, um... I- I was all crazy about documenting them early on, but then I just didn't really get a... a context necessarily for it, so I just kind of gave up. And it was like, I'll- I'll figure out what to do- if I figure out what to do with these, I'll start documenting them again, was the thought. But now I'm running out of game. And so I'm thinking the time might be coming soon, regardless of if I know why or what it's for. And my top- one of my, probably my top theory right now is that it probably is involved in that maze that has the tree in it that I've heard about in that document that was like the first one I read in the, in the game, basically. I think that's what this is building towards, is a, a tree that's supposed to be hard to get to. The context of the tree and what the challenges around it or the maze around it is like is kind of hidden from us. We just have the vague reference to it from that guy that's like, I'm not good at puzzles, whatever. Who wrote, who wrote the document that's in the observatory, watchtower, whatever that place is. The, the central location that leads to me getting here and the pill development place. Is this the fastest way to do this stuff? Seems like it. It's a little brutal. Just because if you're in like, if you're in age two and you want to be in age one, then you need to cycle from age two to age three, then age three to age one. A lot of downtime. Between this and the metal detecting and so on, I can't help but feel like Uru was trying to go for some kind of like zen time waster game. Where you just kind of hang out in an atmosphere for a few hours and do some idle minor tasks. Not really what I'm after. When they're giving me the runaround or saying collect a bunch of things or asking relatively menial tasks of me, I tend to view that stuff as just being an obstacle between me and the content I want to see, which is generally uh, chances to explore new areas, uh, chances to read about characters, which is kind of here and kind of not, and then uh, chances to, above all else, like have a problem to solve and like a a puzzle to work on which that in particular is the one that's usually lacking especially in what seem to be the expansions of this game what did the grinding sound do
Yeah. Here we go again. I remembered to go to the furthest island and jump off, right? I didn't mess that up. I must have just not hit... I didn't, I didn't hit W and, and shift immediately. So maybe I kind of drifted out. This game's making me sleepy. And it's not time for that yet. It's just... The pacing... is kind of putting me to sleep. I don't mean to be like this or sound like this and everything, I'm just like... just trying to do it. It's a challenge. It's a challenge to uh, try to be engaging with an audience or anything when this is what you're working with. Yeah, at the same time, there's a vague idea that like maybe the more I edit, the more dishonest I get at representing what the game is like in moments like this. I don't know. Schools of thought. I might have pressed this twice. Or four times or something. I'm currently curious, like... Oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Did something change? Doesn't feel like it. the water just change? Hang on. Okay. I don't know what the what the, what the the rumbly one does that closes the door and everything, but I I think somehow the wheel just turns off the tide. The whirlpool effect is just gone right now, and I'm just, just freely swimming about. Ah, uh, this is so nice. Well, I know not to touch that wheel ever again unless I, unless it's mandatory to solve something. Because now I can just go where I want to go. I guess I'll go out to that. Because it's real. Really, they're letting me come out here. Now I'm extra questioning this hit, this, uh, the skybox that's so close. Like, look how close I am to it. I'm like 100 feet away from it now. It physically, it physically resembles like a billboard that I'm right next to. Can I go right up to it? Oh my god, it is a billboard. Oh, thank God. I'm so happy it's fake. I'm so happy. It looked so bad. It looked so stupid and fake. It's supposed to be fake. This is... <laughs> this is a Truman Show. Thank goodness. Oh, that's fun. That's a good, that's a good payoff. So that's how he convinced people he was time-traveling? 
still, that's complicated. That's hard. Like, how did he do that? This part's the most understandable one, but then, like... He somehow drains the ocean in one of the versions of the of the age, and then another one's in space somehow. Like, that's crazy. This is all above me though, so I can't get to it. Oh. 232. Oh, shit. Can't get to any of my stuff. Uh, let's get some note paper out. Gotta find a page that's not covered in Fez notes. <laughs> Alright. 232, written down. I want to lose track of that. It's way the hell out here. Huh. Do I need to swim the entire perimeter then? I'm amused by the reveal that this guy's such a goddamn fraud. Even the reflections underwater are themselves also a duplication of those on top. Just a fun detail. I don't necessarily know what I'm supposed to do still, but I, I like the I like the reveal. I wish I had a jet ski right about now for all this water I need to cover though. This island has nothing on it. All right. as fast as it goes. Actually starting to hurt my hand. There we go. Trying to shift my hand around. The finger holding... Because uh, normally like my pinky will hold shift, but that's such a long time holding shift that it's actually starting to hurt my hand. So all I have to go on... Like, it, there's entire paths I've gone that dead end with just telling me a number. So at this point, I have to assume writing down those numbers must be mandatory for some kind of puzzle. Oh. You can climb out. I don't necessarily know if that does anything, but I can climb out. If nothing else, I get to go run faster in this direction for a minute. Ta -da. This is so much work just to fool some dudes. I guess I can see why though, because they they seem to herald him as a prophet. So whatever he was doing was working. But it's yet another Denis that was just a shitty person. Like Every, almost every Denis I've ever heard about is a shitty person. They're all greedy, garbagey people. That are spiteful, and they're slave owners, and they exploit indigenous people, and they th they're so fucking entitled, they think they deserve an entire planet that's all made for them. Not even a planet that they found that they get to rule, but one that's made for them. Like, next level versions of, like, thinking the world revolves around them because they made the world. Yisha's not really a character. She's a child in 4, and that's fine. Children are pretty, almost universally innocent in stories. And here she seems to be an adult, maybe, but she's not on camera, and we don't really need to get to meet her and know what she's like. We're just kind of doing her mission. Uh, Atris is technically not a bad person, like, or at least he's not evil. He's just a bad parent and distant and emotionally vacant and uh, just see, he kind of comes across as undeveloped but, a, but genius. 
maybe somewhere on the spectrum even. Uh, his wife seems nice, but isn't his wife just human? I don't remember. No, his wife is uh, from Riven, I think. So his, his wife's Riven E is not Denis, but not human. His father was Gen, his mother died in childbirth, and his mother was human, I believe. And then his grandmother was Tia uh, Tiana, who lived in the cleft. Who I think was Denis, or am I missing- I might be mixing up whether Gen's wife or Gen's mother is the human, but somewhere in there there's a human that, that, oh, that goes somewhere. Somewhere in there there's a, there's a human female that's breeding with a Denis male. So there's human and Denis blood in Atris. But like in that timeline, we have a, a bunch of absent mothers or off-camera mothers. Amongst the female, uh, amongst the females you have the, the Tiana who seems great, at least in her older years. Yisha, who seems inquisitive and nice, but also is a, is a child. Uh, you have a dead mother. You have Gen, who is just awful. Atrus, who has a bunch of issues. Atrus's sons, which are like overtly... What, they're, they both are cruel, but one of them redeems themselves. And then all throughout uh, Denis history, it just seems to be an endless number of awful garbage people just all the time. Like... Sometimes people seem surprised by my impression of Denis or something, but it's just like, it's all you ever hear about is Denis being bad. <laughs> And they and they're 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 characterized with by uh, largely by their failed society that was taken apart in part because they were greedy, garbagey people. And an ongoing question is whether or not their city desert and their history deserves to even be prepared or or reserve or repaired or re or re preserved or remembered because repeating anything they did might just be repeating mistakes. Like, the, the series itself seems to be really, really, uh... G the games itself seems to be a scalding cr critique of its own culture. And, uh, scathing is what I meant to say, not scalding. Uh, all the way down to, like, even this game t kind of taking jabs at people who might overly, uh romanticized the Denis because we were in that journal and they were like oh that guy's going to be so that guy's going to be pissed when he finds out that his his perfect Denis were slave owners like even that guy was like just digging the needle in like ha that guy's a fan of the Denis he thinks they're so great well they had slaves like there's characters in the DRC that are among that kind of group and at least according to the other DRC member, uh, that other DRC member, they're convinced that those people are wrong. Did I just time travel? You know, air quotes time travel? I'm hearing a lot of rumbling. Hey there. That's what I want. So now, now I can teleport here in different chapters. You can do it again, I just don't see why. Uh, how close am I to the island? Did something change out here? Yeah, you play Riven, and you kind of wonder, like, ah, maybe Gen was alright before, and then got bad, and then had to be imprisoned. 
but in 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 the, the book uh book of atris he seems pretty awful already I haven't finished it, of course. I got di got distracted by the other by the other comic I wanted to read, but also uh, it's admittedly a slow read. It's it's less than three hundred pages. It's not a big one, but uh, doesn't have a lot going on in it. But I'll, I'll get through it at some point. I'll try to at least finish the first book before I start Mist Five. I don't know if I'll finish the entire trilogy within the span of these less plays. As much as that would be fitting and nice to do, timing-wise. Okay. I guess I'll, I'll move forward to the next era, and then teleport back to that facility then. Because you can only access that facility in this age, because it's the only one that has the water. Unless there's a weird cloud path. But while, uh, while Gen has not done anything massively evil yet, in the first 120 pages or whatever, 150 pages, he does abandon Atris at childbirth, and then when he comes back, when Atris is like 14 or something, uh, he rips Atris from the life that he knows, just callously, and within like 12 hours of his arrival, like, he arrives, and he's like, yep, get get ready. In the morning, we're leaving. You're just gonna have to get over the fact that we're just gonna leave your home now. Where you, where my mother was raising you for your entire adolescence and half, half your teenage years. I'm your dad. Yeah, I was gone the whole time. You're coming with me now. I own you. You're mine. Like, alright, you're a real piece of shit. <laughs> Not much reason to like this character. And he's constantly dismissive and rude and... Just awful. <laughs> you get to hear his internal monologue, and his, uh... He sees this... The, the, like, Atrus is precious as a child. This kid is so nice, and inquisitive, and helpful, and empathetic, and probably would have been a way better father if that kid grew up without Gen ever showing up. Uh... And Gen looks at him, and because you can hear his internal monologue, you hear him think that uh, I'm, gonna have to, I'm basically going to have to beat this out of him is basically what he's thinking uh, when he encounters is there a reason for me to switch to this side? I don't know maybe there is maybe, the maybe in the space version the other half of this is blown away I'm just going to go with it but again totally has this reaction like Ugh, I'm going to have to beat this out of him is basically what he thinks because my mother has ruined him He's so, like, amenable, or whatever the hell. I don't remember the exact thing that bothered him, but it was something where I was like, That bothers you? Oh no, that means bad things about you. The other one said one, this one says two. The wall paint has changed. It's interesting. Can't jump off. I mean, I pulled the lever. I assume that's what I'm here to do. Not having a lot of other context, I think my goal is to go to all three chapters and pull the lever. In that facility. And then maybe the, maybe the locations will all collapse into each other. Or maybe they'll activate some sort of alternate sequence or something. I'm guessing this is going to somehow do something to the Denise city. Maybe the maybe the tree I'm trying to get to is in the the Denise city and doing all this will open up something that'll let me go through and then go do that maze or whatever. Cuz the last uh chapter I did it was also the the Denise city. It all took place elsewhere, but the end result was to throw a tablet into the water, which I know from the Book of Atreus is an entire under... It's, it's an entire underground lake 
full of uh, bioluminescent plankton, basically. Like there's there's microorganisms in the water that glow. A plot a thing they established in the book is actually that the uh, the orange life forms. I don't know if plankton's the right word to call it. Uh, it has a day night cycle, which is a weird thing to say. It gets brighter and dimmer over the course of the day when they sleep, basically, which is interesting. All right, I'm interested in seeing where this uh, this symbol takes me in this chapter in the in the space one. Yeah, we we seem to be feeding that stuff something because I, I we dropped a tablet in, and it made all of that water glow. And uh, I'm definitely thinking it's food then, because my brother, he has all these aquariums and he he'll straight up feed tablets to his aquariums so that seems about right hey you you're the new one you're giving me so I'll just do it I guess this allows me to get behind the door in the in the cloud chapter is in the cloud chapter that door is open huh Is there a reason for me to want to be behind that door in the other chapter? I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with some of these. Alright, well that didn't necessarily do anything. I'm kind of thinking that maybe... Maybe whatever I do here unlocks access to the maze that the tree is in. And then maybe whatever I did in the other place lit up the plankton so that I'll be able to see in the maze. Like maybe the maze is, has exposed water around it and without and the water has to be lit up or you won't be able to see anything in it. Oh. Two nineteen. And the one I wrote down before was... 2.32. Broom and show. <laughs> the one we found before. Alright. There's gotta be a pattern to this. That's supposed to be a three, right? I pulled the one in chapter one first, then the one in chapter two, then the one in chapter three, going by these symbols. Hmm. I'm hoping something's changed. 